come to the end of another semester and exam is close. So we've taken this opportunity to have some few deliberations with you concerning how far the course was run the semester and the expectation for the incoming exam. And I want to say that as the semesters are running, be encouraged that very soon you'll be through with the course. And with that encouragement, face the exam. For this semester, we've been looking at next two theories, abnormal pregnancy, labor, and perpetual. We'll look at the medical conditions in pregnancy. And under that, we're looking at malaria, diabetes. We look at the very common ones. And then we also look at bleeding in pregnancy. And by bleeding in pregnancy, we have the bleeding in early pregnancy, which includes abortions, and then bleeding in late pregnancy. We also have bleeding during the perpetual, which is postpartum hemorrhage. We've also looked like look at other causes like the antipartum hemorrhages. We've looked at eclampsia and its complications. And I want to say that as a, an obstetric nurse, if there is anything you want to forget, you shouldn't forget how to handle bleeding cases because they are emergencies. So for that matter, I'm giving you a bonus that you're definitely going to have one essay question coming from the bleeding cases. Because the essence of this course is that you should be able to manage obstetric emergencies. And mostly, we, have, we know that hemorrhage is the leading cause of maternal deaths. So by all means, have a question from the bleeding disorders, either early bleeding or late bleeding, or bleeding during the perpetual, and how to manage them appropriately or refer them. We also look at abnormal conditions during the perpetual, challenges with breastfeeding, and then also challenges with the mother's health. For the nature of our exam, we're going to have about 40 objective questions. And then we're going to have about 30 marks for the essay. The essays are going to be very short essays and they'll be spread out. We're not going to have very big marks for one particular topic. And I also want to say that because I said our focus is on medical conditions and also on the bleeding case in pregnancy, I can assure you that you're going to have one essay coming from the bleeding cases. So that is a Christmas bonus. So at least if you focus on the bleeding cases, you know that you have one short question coming from that side. So for the essays, we are going to have them in 10 marks, maximum 10 marks and then five marks, so that we're able to make up the marks here and there. I will advise that for the purpose of the objectives, read through all the slides, because the objectives are going to come from all the sessions. So don't just focus on the bleeding, because I said one essay question is going to come from that side, because it will not be more than 10 marks. I also want to encourage you, I realized that last semester, some of you left some of the objectives on answer. So please, once you have time, just make an attempt. You rule out the odd ones and then never leave an objective question blank, even if you are not sure. Rule out the odd ones, debate between the other options, and then make sure you put down something. It, it may or may not be true, but you don't lose a mark if you had a, you had a mistake then, so just let go of that. And then for the essays, just be straight to the point. Look at the marks allotted and then write as such so that you'll be able to apportion your time well and be able to answer the questions within the time you'll be assigned to. I also want to comment on clarity of handwriting. There were some challenges last semester. But remember the last semester, we just had one simple essay question. So if this time you're going to have more than one essay, I will advise that you write as legibly as possible. And then, don't panic. I, I, I was at some of the exam centers last semester, and I realized that some were just panicking. We are not bringing any questions beyond what we have discussed in the 12 or 13 sessions. All the questions that we are going to meet, I assure you that they are within the scope of what we were taught this semester. So please relax and face the exams with confidence, and I encourage you but as the semesters are going by, it tells you that very soon you'll be through with the course. So let that encouragement lead you. 
into writing this exam. I wish you all the best in your exam. And I wish you Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. Please enjoy, make some time to do some revisions, but still make some time to be with the family. I wish you all the best in the exam. I'm an SNC Edouard, maternal in charge of department of the School of Medicine, University of Ghana, and my co-author sends you her regards, and she is Prof. Nessina Donko, also from the maternal in charge of the department of the school. Thank you very much.